The next one we'll do is we'll come up to the this tab, New Animal Events, and we'll go into Nitrates, Directive, and Reps. And when we go in there, it brings up this screen, and by default, um, it'll have 12 months starting on the 1st of 1st, 08. Uh, it has, uh, you, you need to put your total hectares of um, area aid in there. Uh, you need to fill in your week's required storage for slurry in here. But when you have those three things in, you can do a stock for reps. So I click on that. It's calculating the report. And see in here, I have a breakdown of all of the animal types. And that's exactly the way the reps planner will want to break them down as the same as the nitrates directive reports always looks for dairy cows, suckler cows, and cattle zero to one and so forth. And you see in January, at the end of each month, I had 73, 72, 73. So that's a breakdown of the dairy cows on the farm at the end of each month. So a very straightforward. You'll notice that these months, because I'm doing the OH year, these months are not finished. So I can actually modify those figures if I want. But uh, that's ideal for when you're given information to your reps planner. It's ideal when you're given information to uh, anybody doing nitrates work for you. Although the farm software will do the nitrates work for you anyway. If I go back to the main tab, um, this whole nitrate section is quite strong and we'll probably cover this in more detail in a future um, video, but I want to just show you how to get some stock analysis reports quite quickly using this button here, which is the stock for reps. So just closing out of that. Another report that works more or less straight out of the box once you have your tidied up your stock numbers is, say, for Chagas. A lot of people might miss this initially because um, uh, anybody that's uh, taken part in the Chagas Profit Monitor systems, um, you know, you're monitoring financial information but also stock information. So if I click on Calculate Chagas Stock Profit Monitor, what we're doing is we're churning through the um, data, past and present, um, and we're trying to present the data for the profit monitor um, exactly in the format that Chag is required for their, their online computer system. So again, uh, a, a big thing that a computer can do for a farmer is do the present the stock calculations in the different formats. You know, you have stock for your reps planner, you have stock for your nitrates advisor, you have stock for Chagas advisor, you have stock for your accountant, you have stock for the on-farm inspections. They all want information on cattle, but they want it in a different format. So that's that particular report. Notice that really all I had to do here is just go in, click the button, I get the report. The um, the other one that's quite useful very straight away is check CMMS list. If I go in here, and s let's say you had a printout from the Department of Agriculture with what they think is on your farm on any particular day. I'd come in here, I'd click on check against CMMS list, click on OK, and this is the list of what we think is on the farm on that particular day, and it's presented in the same order that we would uh, expect their printout to be presented. One little thing that we won't cover in this particular video, but uh, it's possible, we, we always recommend people to use the agfood.ie website, and one of the things you can do from agfood is you can download a herd profile of what the department think is on your farm at the moment, and then you can load that particular download file into our software, and we'll electronically cross-reference everything that your farm software thinks is on the farm with everything that the CMMS or the Department of Agriculture think is on your farm. And that's a fantastic way to eliminate cross-compliance differences during an, an inspection situation. But again, we might come back to that in a, a future video in more detail. Just close out of there. Um, the last report that I'm just going to show you, and it, this would be focused more on a milk recording herd. So if you're a, a suckler or a bee farmer, you can stop the video here. But if I go back into steps reports and go down to milk recording. Again, when we start off a new client, we have all of these milk records preloaded. Uh, one of the things that all of you will be doing, and we want to make sure that you can do this, is that um, you can get an email. Every time you do a milk recording going forward, you get an email from the ICBF, and w w we'll show you how to load that email into the farm software so that you keep your milk records up to date on the farm software. Um, but just some of the things in here you can see, at the top, the last recording was on the 25th of August 2008, and there was 61 cows. That, that's the average yield, that's the average fat. Now, if I double-click on that line, it actually drills down to give me the, the breakdown of the cows that were recorded on that day. And again, if you remember, I showed you how to uh, use the two lines at the top. So if I click on yield, 
I've sorted my herd by their yield. So the lowest yielding cow on that particular recording was 399. And then the highest yielding cow is obviously at the bottom. And her yield was 5.38. If I want to sort by somatic cell count, I just click on SCC. And just get your scroll bar up to the top. So the lowest SCC is at the top. If I click on SCC again and push up to the top, the highest SCC is at the top so you can see which cows are doing the damage in the terms of somatic cell count if you wanted to quickly just filter all SEC over a certain figure so if I click here I change the equal to say greater than and then I change this to 200 and go OK so I'm down now to um, and the number there's 21 animals 21 rows where the somatic cell count is, is greater than 200 so in theory they're the the, the worst cows so uh, again, the last thing I'll show you in this particular video is that if I double click on, we have all of our cows in their somatic cell count order. So if I double click on the top cow, which is the worst somatic cell count for last month, it drills down to the cow cards again. So we're back to this particular report and I have all my cows there. So we leave it there for this video and uh, the next video we'll move on to using email because once we put the stuff in, once we put the information into the firm software, we want to email that off to the two national computers, one being the Department of Agriculture for calf registration and the other one being the ICBF for animal events and for the suckler cow scheme. So we leave it there for the moment.